Hola, me llamo Harat. Bienvenidos a Huautla de Jiménez, el pueblo de María Sabina. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas. Estamos aquí por los hongos y la salvia. Vamos. <laughs> Hopefully there's a break to piss and smoke more weed. Oh, we got some fruit too. And just like that, we were off on our seven hour journey through the mountains. A very bumpy nap. Thankfully, we made a stop at a little quesadilla place and I crushed a few of them that were pretty good. I even brought some for the road in the van full of 16 people with no air conditioning. Grand rising from Huarla de Jimenez. I'm up on a mountain on the outskirts of town. It's extremely tranquil and beautiful. Uh, and so I couldn't resist <clears throat> rolling up a little joint. This seems like the perfect smoke area. The mezcal. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Allowing us yeah. Of course, early on, we sniffed out a smoke friendly cafe. The flames are running away. The hack for smoking in public in other countries I've found is just making it into a spliff. And here we found a little corner. <laughs> Our little corner of the world. <laughs> and uh, holy shit, I was not ready for that nicotine. <laughs> Taking me back to Laos. They've opened the window, which is cool. The window's open, the sun is shining. shining. The weather is sweet. All right, so we met this guy last night and uh, he said he knows an old lady who is a mushroom shaman. So we're going to follow him and meet this lady and we're going to see if she can help us find some salvia. Salvia divinorum is native to this area of Mexico and it is gram per gram the most potent psychedelic on the planet, even more so than DMT. Adios, adios. Hola! Camera, camera! Camera! Santa Julia. It works, yeah. After selling me a pipe, he presented us to his mother. So as you can see where we left off there, we walked into this lady's house. This guy that we met last night led us there and she was about a 90 year old Mazatec mushroom shaman. And she was only speaking her native language and the guy was translating for us. And um, I'm eating salvia in like two hours. That's what came out of it. All right, so the house with the shaman that we were in two and a half hours ago, not even, two hours ago, uh, we are approaching now. I haven't had much time to prepare, but uh, I'm gonna go up here and meditate and eat salvia with this shaman. We'll see if they let me record it. Like I said, if not, I'll see you guys on the other side, but really grateful for this opportunity to experience this plant uh, in its traditional way of being used, which is being eaten, which produces a very different effect than smoking it. So, just like cannabis. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> We're like 7,000 feet up into the mountains. Salvia divinorum is uh, in the sage family, but Salvia divinorum itself is only found in this area of Mexico. Something like psilocybin mushrooms, oh my god. Out of breath walking up these stairs. Uh, something like mushrooms, you know, grows in every crevice of the world. 
but these plants like salvia that only grow in certain regions or like peyote it's very fascinating and these Mazatec people have been using them for thousands of years maybe longer the psychedelic art in this town is just like everywhere all consuming I really gotta pee this is the space that I'll be doing my salvia ceremony I think that's the either the mushrooms or the salvia in there be on this bed so now I'm gonna meditate pee and eat salvia see you on the other side fresh out of the salvia ceremony I don't know what time it is now that was maybe like an hour right or more it was kind of like a DMT flash but for the body it was like I would be breathing and then like it would like overcome me and I, like my eyes would kind of just like be back uh, and like that would last for a few breaths and then it would like it was like coming in waves not extremely visionary or anything like that more so like I said body there were moments where I was just like you know kind of you know kind of just up there in it like breathing obviously nothing like psilocybin or DMT or other indole hallucinogens but hey I gave it a shot I'm down to give it another shot with a bigger dose I would say overall it was pretty mild did something happen absolutely am I still feeling a little disoriented and a little like goofy right now yes um, but is it like eating an eighth of mushrooms uh, it's nothing close but the ladies here made us our well, they didn't make it just for us, but we bought it from them, a little homemade pipe here, and we've got the plant that works the best inside. <laughs> I'll reflect on the experience more and, like, make a more updated, you know, video, but, uh, very, very interesting. Reminds me of my first time smoking DMT when I didn't do a big enough dose. I, I, you know, it's like... If I had to like compare it to something, it's like not taking enough DMT and like getting into like the first like level of the DMT realm or something and then it just kind of like subsides. And I just need to eat more I think next time and we need to try smoking it. Oh fuck. There's oh. homemade love oh. right there. Oh. Post salvia? Man. Mm -hmm. Bread never, oh my god, look at this, another bakery. What's going on? Why are they playing this stuff? <laughs> what's what's this one called, Torn? Concha. Concha? It's like a chocolate bread. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at that. Texture. What on earth is going on? Okay, so it's been maybe two hours since I ate the salvia. What an experience. It was a beautiful ceremony. I just think I need more leaves. Plain and simple. But the good news is they... I'm so high. The good news is as we were leaving, they offered to sell us a bag of dried salvia so that we could smoke it out of our new wooden pipe. So we're gonna load this up and smoke it here in Torin's hotel room. It seems to be, to me, mostly a like body cleansing. I feel like re-energized, revitalized, you know, like I think it's something maybe more similar to like I don't know, like doing combo or something, eating it. Um, it's not like a visionary experience. It was uh, very much so a body experience. Um, and it was cool. And it was cool. But uh, a much crazier effect is produced when it is smoked. So, what a day. All right, so this this will be our ceremony bed here. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs>
Hello, beautiful people. As you can see, I'm out of the mountains and I've brought my nice mushroom scarf from the little ladies in Woutla that they made for me, which I love. I just wanted to let you guys know that I will have an entire trip report coming about my experience eating the salvia and smoking it. So be on the lookout for that. That will be coming soon. I also wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by my dear friend, Justin Lovato. He is a breathwork coach, a mindset mentor, a personal trainer. I've been following him on Instagram since I was 17. I don't know if you guys remember the fitness boom, but this guy was a Gold's Gym legend, pro bodybuilder, lifting with Callum Von Moger on YouTube. And anyway, he inspired me to start smoking cannabis before my workouts, which ultimately led me to psychedelics so Justin's just an amazing mentor in my own life and he offers that to other people through his website Nirvana he offers many different breathwork programs and mentoring options my fiance Mackenzie who's upstairs right now actually uses his breathwork program every single day she absolutely loves it and so do I I'll never forget my first time attending one of Justin's breathwork ceremonies. It was truly the most transcendental state I've ever reached without plant medicine. I've spent many nights at Justin's house on multiple different occasions and just seeing him every morning, I would come downstairs and he's just on these calls with his clients, dropping in. The guy's just constantly in the zone. He's got his house set up to a total vibe to where he can just hold space and be totally available for different plant medicine ceremonies, breathwork ceremonies, conscious conversations, etc. So huge shout out to Justin Lovato. Love you, buddy. Thanks for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get a hold of Justin or any of his breathwork programs, I will link his info in the description. Now let's get back to it. The next morning, we hiked back up the mountain to buy some mushrooms. I already had a ceremony planned, but Torin wanted to get some to use. <laughs> in the hotel and Torin behind the camera purchased some mushrooms from the salvia shaman folks up at that house these are psilocybin mushrooms fresh from the forest Torin just ate one Look at that. They're fresh. Mmm. They look delicious. Life is good. A lot better fresh. <laughs> Outside of the hotel, this guy behind me is uh, selling rocks with mushrooms carved in them. Um, but we found a guy who's gonna sell us a little bit of Mary Jane that we found, and uh, he said he wants to do it together. So, brought some papers. Ah, oh, shit, did I forget the fucking papers? I did. I gotta go get the papers. Um. Back up the mountain, the massive staircase slash ramp that we've done many times in the last two days. To film? Nice. Way up. There's a trail going into the forest and we're just following this dude. All right, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but we hiked way up the mountain. You can see everything. It's too dark for you guys to see, but no one here knows how to roll a joint, so uh, <laughs> I'm getting us a joint prepared as we get eaten alive by bugs. Yes. As you can see here, we have a tiny little Americano, and this is Malama Mushroom's Lion's Mane Cacao Mix. I add Malama mushrooms to every coffee I drink. I travel with it. Uh, there's my breakfast coming in. Don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, put in a nice heaping scoop 
and your brain is going to be functioning on a level that it never has before. Lion's Mane in particular, this one here that I'm using is amazing for your brain, for your cognitive function, and with the cacao blend, it just makes the coffee taste better. I've been using their products daily for over two years, and it has been life-changing for me. My energy levels, my immune system, it is all functioning at a higher level by using this stuff. If you want to save some money on your Malama Mushrooms order, you can hit the link in the description. King James, here in Walta. Yeah. Quality? What do you think? <laughs> Not what you expected? No, it's, it's just... It's different. The big boy. Hola. When we asked him about the bananas, he said macho. Yeah, right? el, el macho. Look at that thing. Big boy banana. Turkeys. Turkeys. Tied up by the feet. Ready to be dinner? Are we going up? Yeah. Buenas tardes. Hola. You can see it's like 3D. Thank you guys so much for following along this journey. I have had a hell of a time in Wautla, and I have a lot more coming. If you want to watch some more cool videos, you can check out either of these. Peace.